Stop circuit meeting with President Harry S. Truman. Hello, Mr. President. I'm uh, Mr. Dwight Eisenhower. Nice to meet you, sir. Mr. Nice President, to meet I'm you. Doug with MacArthur. Nice to meet you, sir. We need to end this war with Japan greatly. I know, Mr. President. We have an idea. Why don't we continue to drop our firebombs on the Japanese and then we can invade them? You know, I don't think that's a very good idea. See, the problem with that is. As we're invading, the Japanese are actually training their soldiers to fly into our ships. They're calling them uh, kamikazes, and we would lose a lot of people to this uh, invasion. I think we should look at uh, the people over at the Manhattan Project. They're working on some uh, really good research. Using these bombs is a terrible idea. I agree. Japan is bound to surrender soon anyways. You know, also, if we get into a nuclear arms race, we are bound to be taken over or destroyed with all our cities being large cities where everybody is contained into one large population. Yeah, this is just scary stuff. We should write to the president and petition. I don't know if he will listen to us. Yeah, let's just finish this thing. See, I think that that is a very good idea because the main problem is losing all these American citizens to this war with Japan that is the problem that we need to stop. Also, Japan is really relentless in uh, not surrendering. Uh, we've received some uh, threats and uh, some pictures of uh, American POWs and uh, it's pretty rough over there. Why don't we just drop a bomb over the harbor? That way we don't have to kill all the Japanese and we can scare them into surrendering. You know, I don't think that's a good idea either. That's foolish. Yeah, especially uh, over at the Manhattan Project, they've been working really hard, and we only have two bombs right now. So, I think to waste one over a field or harbor without any attack would be a bad decision. I feel as if that would be a very bad decision as well, because the Japanese are so relentless and just not giving up. <coughs> yeah. Well, well, I will uh, head over... Uh, in fact, I can send my uh, man over right now over to the Manhattan Project uh, leading developers and we'll uh, have them working on it right away. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Nice meeting with you, sir. Nice meeting. On August 6, 1945, after President Harry Truman okayed the atomic bombs, a B-29 plane, the Enola Gay, dropped a uranium atomic bomb called Little Boy on Hiroshima, Japan's seventh largest city. In minutes, half the city vanished. 60 to 70,000 people were killed or missing, 140,000 were injured, and deadly radiation reached over 100,000. The city was unbelievably devastated. Of its 90,000 buildings, over 60,000 were demolished. Although Japan was warned the inevitable and complete destruction of Japanese armed forces and the utter devastation of Japanese homeland was to occur in the post dam ultimatum, the world was not expecting such a devastating weapon. However, being relentless, Japan did not surrender after this first atomic bomb. Three days later, on August 9th, the second atomic bomb, Fat Man, was planned to be dropped on the city of Kokura. There were three planes involved in the mission. However, the Big Stink, whose sole purpose in the mission was to videotape the events that went on, had its leading scientist, the only person that knew how to operate the camera, forget his parachute, inevitably leading to the plane not meeting up with the other two planes in Japan. The boxcar, the one with Fat Man, and the other plane waited forever until the Big Stink did not arrive and they decided to bomb Kokura without it. However, the city was foggy with a lot of smoke from the previous napalm bombers and they had to move on to their secondary target, Nagasaki. Running extremely low on fuel, they barely had the time to make one bombing run before inevitably crashing an island far off from Japan, however, was allied with Japan. The crew were later picked up by another plane, where it was estimated they had only five minutes of fuel left before having to crash land. The following is tops of the radio frequencies and video of the actual events. It is too cloudy to bomb Kokira. Let's wait for the fog to clear up. We're running out of fuel. Let's go to the second dairy target, Nagasaki. There's a break in the clouds. Drop the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> After such 
destruction and devastation, it only took the Emperor of Japan, who many citizens had never seen or heard publicly, about a month to surrender on September 2nd. Here, Harry Truman delivers the news to thousands of happy Americans. However, the war behind the scenes continues. While Japan may have surrendered, Russia and all of Europe is looking to get their hands on this new atomic technology. <laughs> Using these bombs is a bad idea. I agree. Japan is about a bound. <laughs> Butchered that one. <laughs> <laughs>